Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today on the channel we have a watch from La Touraine. This brand is based in the United States. And this is their new C Ferrer model. It's an upgraded version and a downsized version. Uh, this is one of their largest uh, dive models they have on their uh, website. And I think for, you know, 300 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. There also is a code to save 25% on their website. And I have a special code I can drop down in the description below so you can save some money as well. Which will bring the watch down, you know, pretty heavily in price. Uh, which I think is a pretty good deal. It's obviously it's an automatic watch. That thing just started running by itself. And uh, yeah, pretty cool, nice little wave dial on this one. Um, some good loom as well. And uh, let's take a look at the packaging and we'll dig a little deeper. Now shipping is pretty fast. Um, they're located in the United States, in the Carolinas. And it comes in this box here with their logo, as you can see. And then you open it up and you get your two-year warranty card, which I think is pretty good, considering mo most smaller micro brands uh, use one year. Uh, so you get an international warranty card here, nice little warranty card, user manual. And they include a polishing cloth as well, lots of rain polishing cloth. Um, yeah, not too bad for the price, I must say. Definitely protects the watch uh, so it can get to your house. Now, on my wrist today is not a Cartier tank. It's actually a $15 watch I found on, for, actually from another YouTuber. I was watching videos, you know, the, I was thinking about getting that Seiko kind of Cartier tank style watch. And I realized this one's kind of cooler. I mean, yeah, it's a homage, but, you know, it's 15 bucks, and the quality is actually really good. I threw it on this band. Um, this is a genuine leather band, I believe from another brand, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Nice blued hands as well. Um, just something cool to wear around. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Now, this watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel, the industry standard. It is 43 millimeters across in terms of diameter, so it's not your typical 40 millimeter dive watch, but it does have a lugless design, so it's gonna wear a bit smaller than a 43 millimeter. Now, 50 millimeters top to bottom, or lug to lug distance. The bracelet actually starts at 24 over here and tapers all the way down at the clasp to 18 millimeters I measured with my calipers. As you can see, nice lots of in there on the butterfly clasp. In terms of actual case thickness, we're looking at about 13 millimeters. And as you can see, I still have the uh, plastic on the crown to protect it. Um, but yeah, 13 millimeters, mostly brushed this watch. As you can see, we get brushing on the sides here. And then we get chamfering polishing going across the case here on both sides. The crown is polished, screwed down, and signed. Nice pair of crown guards here as well. And flip into the flank, as you can see, polished. Um, nice, you know, dive, you know, dive style watch, I must say, 200 meters, um, which is definitely good enough for, you know, diving. Screw down crown, screw down case back as well. The crystal is a single domed sapphire crystal. That's why you're probably getting a little glare, but you do get nice distortions at different angles. And we do get a 120 click unidirectional rotating dive bezel, which is made of uh, polished ceramic, which is actually really nice. Very nice action as well. Just want to get that out. I know people love the bezel action, so. Really nice action and no back play whatsoever. And pretty good grip, I must say. It's actually a really good bezel. I was quite surprised by it for this price point. And let me get that up, see if it lines up. And everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock pip right at the 12 hour marker. Now it's getting a little close from the dial while the light is shining out. You can see they put a custom wave pattern on this model uh, with some really interesting detail on this dial. I'll get you in a little closer here. You can see you see Ferrer in red above the six printed, 200 meters. And then you have the Latarian logo, very neatly applied there, polished. You get applied markers, double markers for increased legibility. Nice pair of loomed hands as well, block style. You get a framed date window at the three o'clock position. And just a really cool, you know, wave design. Um, I wouldn't say, it doesn't really look like the Seamaster, how they do that wave design. It's a bit of a different design, which I like. And definitely its own thing. I think that's pretty cool there. Um, but yeah, very legible as well. Nice candle wick sweeping second, very thin. And reaches pretty much all the way out to those fine, minute minute markings you can see. Now all these markers are filled with a generous amount of loom as well. Uh, the loom is very, very good on this model, I must say. Um, it glows green, it's um, super luminova, and it's pretty potent. Um, we'll get your loom shot towards the end of the video. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's inside of this watch? That's kind of a, you know, something most watch enthusiasts look for. It is running an automatic NH35 with quick set date. We get hacking, we get hand winding, um, we get 24 joules. I believe 23 joules, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hack, hacking, hand winding, and a quick set date. 
Um, they were beat at 3 Hz, 21,600 beats per hour. Most of you guys are very familiar with this movement. They're reliable, accurate, robust, and he actually does uh, test them out before sending the watches. You can see on his website, uh, he does have a time grapher. And this one is running really, really on point, about plus one or two seconds per day. So no need to worry about that. He tests all the watches before he sends them out. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, exhibition case back so you can actually see the movement and this new bracelet as well. Now I would call this a presidential style bracelet. Um, it's pretty much fully brushed. It is using double-sided screws, so you're going to need two screwdrivers. Just keep that in mind. It comes equipped on a butterfly clasp, and their logo actually is on there. I'm not sure if it's on the last model, but it's definitely on this one. And yeah, it's pretty flexible. It's definitely very articulating, as you can see there. I think it's a pretty decent bracelet. Now, you will have to use this bracelet. Like I said, this is a custom end fitted bracelet. You're going to have to use this bracelet. But it definitely comes with enough room, at least for like an 8.5 inch wrist, I'd say. Um, so no need to worry about that. It's actually very good quality. Uh, it doesn't rattle or shake or anything like that. It's solid uh, stainless steel with that nice presidential design. Kind of like those new Citizen models that were released. Now, uh, the movement, let's test this out here. Go ahead, unscrew the crown. We get self-winding. This is your quick set date. And then we can set the time in the hacking position. Go ahead and set it to 8 o'clock. Push that back down. Everything seems to be working good. I already knew that. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty simple. NH35, 200 meters water resistance. And on the case back here, you can see we do get an exhibition screw down case back. Um, there, it is printed on their rotor, the La Terrain logo as well. It's an NH35. Most of you guys know what this movement looks like. Um, so it's nothing out of this world, but it's always nice to see the inner workings of a watch. Now I'm going to go ahead and loom it up because the loom is actually really, really good. I'll throw it on my wrist and give you my final thoughts. Now fully loomed up and yeah, it definitely is a torch. I mean, this thing, very, very, very good the loom they applied on this one, especially on the bezel. Um, very evenly applied on those hands and those markers and that seconds hand you can see sweeping around the dial. And it's actually pretty, pretty bright as you can see there. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, no issues with the loom. I think it's very, very good. As you can see, I'm using my torch here uh, just to keep it going. And it's very good. Um, yeah, no issues with the loom. You're definitely going to be able to see this one at night. Um, their other diver had very good loom as well. So I kind of was expecting good loom. And they definitely delivered on this one. Now, fitted to my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see here, the watch definitely wears bigger at 43, I must say, than at 40, obviously, but it's not overly huge. Uh, the, the, you did tell me their other release of this model was a bit bigger. They sized it down and completely constructed the case over again. Um, yeah, I think it's much nicer at this size. Um, that's how it sits on the wrist. You can see that distortion on that nice sapphire single dome crystal. And all around, it's a nice fit. Um, definitely can wear it casually as well. You know, as you also obviously you can wear it to the beach or the pool. It is a dive watch. Definitely get it wet, take it in the water. It's a tough watch as well. Um, it feels very durable and tough, especially it's a pretty you know solid uh, stainless steel watch. Like I mean, solid. Like just the actual case design, I must say, is you know solid. <laughs> it's a solid watch. You can throw this thing around and you're not going to have an issue. Anyway, guys, uh, let me take this off my wrist and I'll give you my final thoughts. Furthermore, guys, I think La Terrain is putting out some pretty interesting watches for the price. I mean, to get this at like 250 bucks, <clears throat> I think that's a pretty good deal. You're going to get ceramic bezel, great loom, NH35, custom case, custom bracelet, screw link bracelet, sapphire crystal, um, good you know quality control. Um, everything is assembled in the U.S., he told me. So I think that's pretty interesting. And overall, I don't know. I don't really have any negatives about it. Obviously, if you don't like this design or the bracelet, you probably won't like it. But I think if you're looking for a good everyday diver, this is something to take a look at. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this brand. I did feature one of their other watches, which had a crazy full loom dial. You can check back on my log. I thought that watch was pretty cool as well with some really nice loom. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. He did tell me that I might come out with rubber custom end link fitted uh, straps for this as well in case you want to swap it out. So that might be something to look out for in the future. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of this brand or this watch down in the comment section below as usual. Definitely throw the video a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.